Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss separable equations. Let's go ahead and do an example. Solve the initial value problem, y prime equals 8xy plus 3y, with y of 0 equals 5. Solution. This is called an initial value problem, by the way, because we're given the differential equation, which is y prime equals 8xy plus 3y, Together with this condition, y of 0 equals 5, this condition is called an initial condition. So basically, we solve the differential equation. At the very end, we use this condition to find the value of the constant that we get. Let's start by writing down our differential equation. y prime equals 8xy plus 3y. First step is to take the y prime and write it as dy dx. We can write this as dy dx. And this is equal to 8xy plus 3y. Now the goal is to separate everything. So the idea is with separable differential equations, you want to get all of your x's together with a dx on one side and all of your y's together with a dy on the other side. You'll also notice that we can factor out a y here on the right hand side. Let's do that first. So dy dx is equal to I'm going to put the y in the front. So y parentheses 8x plus 3. And now we're ready to make the key step where we basically separate everything. We have the y on the right hand side. So I'm going to divide both sides by y. On the left hand side, we're going to get dy over y. And on the right hand side, I'm just going to multiply by dx. So we'll get parentheses 8x plus 3 dx. And the goal is achieved. We have y's on one side together with a dy, and there's no x's, it's just pure y's, and then x's on the right hand side with a dx. Now we integrate both sides. When we integrate a dy over y, uh, the formula is ln absolute value of y. We get the natural log of the absolute value of y. On the right hand side, we can use the power rule. There's a one here on the x as the exponent. So we'll get 8x squared over 2. When we integrate 3, we just get 3x. And then we're supposed to add a constant of integration. You can call it c, you can call it c1. I don't want to call it c yet because it's going to change multiple times. So I'm going to call it k. So now we have natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to 4x squared plus 3x plus k. I'm going to show every single step here. So it can be a lot of steps and a lot of detailed steps, which is really helpful because it's important to understand everything. So in order to get rid of the ln, remember that there's a formula that says e to the ln x is equal to x. This is a super powerful formula that basically says that e to the x and the natural log of x are inverse functions. So we need to get rid of the ln. So I'm going to put an e here on the left. I'm going to put an e here on the right. This process is called exponentiation. We are exponentiating both sides. Notice how I put the right-hand side in parentheses. That whole thing in parentheses, 4x squared plus 3x plus k, that's the exponent. On the left-hand side, these go away, they cancel. We get the absolute value of y equals e to the 4x squared plus 3x plus k. So this is the absolute value of y equal to e to the 4x squared plus 3x times e to the k. You might say, what happened? <laughs> That's because the bases are the same. Whenever the bases are the same and you multiply, you add the exponents. So super, super important. So basically, we're just adding exponents here. So go from the bottom to the previous step, we just add the exponents. I'm going to go ahead and drop the absolute value now. Whenever you drop an absolute value and you have an equation, you put a plus or minus. I'm going to put the e to the k in the front. And then here we have e to the 4x squared plus 3x. There's a lot of steps here. A lot of times if you look in books, they don't have these steps. Some books do. Some books on differential equations show all these little steps. It's worth seeing it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the plus or minus e to the k with another constant. I'm going to call it c. 
You might be thinking, can you do that? We just did. <laughs> and now I'm gonna label it. So where, where C is equal to plus or minus E to the K, beautiful, right? That's every single step. So this is the solution to the differential equation. So if the question just said solve the differential equation, you would be done. However, in our particular problem, it was an initial value problem. So they gave us an initial condition. So we actually have to find C. So we're gonna use Y of zero equals five that was given at the outset to find C. So let's use this. When we use this, basically we put a five where the Y is and we put a zero where the X is. So we get C E to the four times zero squared plus three times zero. So five is equal to C E to the zero e to the zero is one, so five is equal to c times one. So therefore, c is equal to five. And to finish, you take your five and you plug it back into your function. So y is equal to five e to the four x squared plus three x. And that would be the solution to the initial value problem. So again, the answer to this particular problem is this one here without the c. And this answer here, the one we got earlier, y equals c times e to the 4x squared plus 3x, this is called the general solution, okay? And what we've done is we've used this initial condition to pick out a specific one. This actually has another name. It's called particular solution, just extra life knowledge. However, the main point in this problem is that when you see a differential equation that's separable, you want to try to separate the variables. This one was a little bit harder, believe it or not, because we actually had to factor out a y right here. So this step is not a step that you'll have to do in some of the easier problems. A lot of the problems are much easier and you don't need to do this, but it's good to see some harder stuff and hopefully you thought it was easy. If you enjoyed this video and you learned some math, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck and take care.